Howdy, crew. It is the Mad Arab here. How are you? It's been a while since I've used that introduction. It's been a while since I've done any social media. Um, yeah. I, everything got a bit crazy, and I got stressed out, and I've been meaning to go on a, what my younger brother referred to as a vision quest. I refer to it as uh, going dark. Um, literally just picking everything up and fucking off for however long it takes to either need to come back to life or uh, or for you to get over your shit. Uh, and it's something I don't think guys, people, I'm going to focus on guys because it's fucking the first day of November. Um, I didn't even really think of that when I went out and then I woke up this morning, got out of my tent and I'm like, huh, oh, first day of November, I should do a video about mental health. Um, so yeah, going dark, um, just unplugging and getting away from all the shit, getting to a place where there is no reception so that there's nothing you can fucking do, uh, about the shit that you feel that you have to do. Um, really getting away from the creature comforts, sleeping on the cold hard floor, Admittedly, I did have a tent, so that was a bit of a nice luxury. Uh, I was not going to carry an air mattress because I literally had to carry everything on my back for about 40 minutes to get to the campground. Um, which meant I had to travel light. Um, yeah. So I didn't even take a pillow, which was a bit stupid. Uh, I just got my sleeping bag bag and shoved a hoodie into it and slept on that. But it was fucking cold. It was quite an uncomfortable sleep but frankly beforehand I walked up with all my shit set my fucking campground up uh, set my tent up and then went and found firewood which was everything was damp because it had been raining this weekend um, and I was pretty sure I wasn't going to start a fire um, and I was there for probably an hour and a half getting the fire going and I'm not an experienced uh camper at all this is the uh second time uh third time i've ever been hard camping as they say um and only the and, and the first time i've ever uh gone uh camping on my own um and i really did it i've been wanting to do it for about nine months um just to escape uh and really just be alone with my own thoughts and speak my uh Speak my name into the wind. Ha ha ha. There's your vision quest thing, Hoss. Um, yeah, like, had to chop logs and fucking, like, there was one particular log. I'm like, that looks really dry. Um, it was attached to something else. I didn't want to remove the ass end of what it was attached to. So I was like, no, nah, fuck it. I'm going to chop this thing down. And I'm sitting there for probably what felt like fucking 20 minutes with this blunt as fuck axe. Make sure your tools are sharp. That's fucking vital. I didn't. Um, but that, that's a metaphor for life. Make sure your tools are sharp. Uh, otherwise you have a very hard time doing anything you need to do. And one of the most important tools in your body, uh, sorry, uh, in your life is your body. So we should be focusing more as men to uh, keep our bodies as sharp as possible. And our minds uh, on that note. But just... Let's keep it basic for now. Hopefully I'll have the time to do more um, videos like this in future. Um, yeah, so chopping through that log, it was fucking rough. I was getting blisters and my hands were fucking bleeding because I didn't bring gloves. And um, by the end of it, it was like a little hatchet. It wasn't a proper axe. Um, when that finally broke off, from the main part. I didn't even end up using it in the fire, by the way. Um, it was so satisfying to have this adversity, this wall that I'm just pushing through and pushing through and pushing through to then finally make it out. Um, and it was the same with the fire. It was you know, a bit damp, it was fucking cold. Um, I knew that I didn't need to get the fire going in order to make my dinner because I'd, I'd taken a camp cooker with me. Um, but I just wanted to get a fire going. And when I got that fucker going, um, and it was roaring, that was so satisfying. I, I can't put it into words just how it felt to have this 
what felt like an impossible task be made possible by force of will and faith. And when I say faith, uh, I'm not talking faith in a particular deity, even though, you know, I believe in the cosmic oneness of the universe. More on that later. Um, faith that I could do it, you know, faith that it would work out, you know, and that faith keeps you going when your willpower falters and your willpower is that thing that gets you there. Um, and after all of that, I sat and I took my guitar. I know I said necessities, but to me it was to take your, my guitar, take my notebook and just sit and basically ex exhume, I think yeah, that, that's the word, exhume my thoughts or my feelings and just get them out. And really I find the most beneficial part of this entire experience wasn't to escape distraction because frankly you can distract yourself just fine. You could be in the middle of the city and distracted. Uh, you could be in the middle of fucking nowhere and your brain will still distract you. Tending to the fire will distract you. So you can't just sit there and address the issue. Um, but I didn't really see that as much of a problem. It was just great to not have the little ba-ding, da 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 and if there was anything I had to do or felt that I had to do, I could not fucking do it because it was a 40-minute walk to the car. Um, and the, at the in the car, there's no mobile reception here, which is great. Um, I mean, I really recommend, guys, that when life is just getting a bit much to be able to do this, obviously plan the trip. Obviously tell somebody that you're fucking going. If you don't want to tell your family, that's fucking stupid. But just say, I'm going away. If you don't want to disclose the location, disclose it to at least one person. Fuck it, disclose it to me. Um, and then if someone comes looking for you, I can at least say, oh yeah, he went here on this day and he said he should be back at this time. Um, I just told my younger brother, I'm like, I'm going here. Uh, I should be back by this time. And this is the road to get to this place. And it's pretty straightforward to get there. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, honestly, it's just like reconnect with nature, but more importantly, reconnect with yourself. Find that, um, get some adversity in your, uh, in your day to day. And you'll find that the adversity that you encounter, uh, in your normal life, uh, seems a whole let, uh, a whole lot less difficult, annoying, uh, painful, whatever the fuck you want to say. Um, and I suppose since we are talking November, um, I'll do a few more videos like this, probably not out in the middle of nowhere, um, but I'll do a few more videos like this where I talk about strategies to help with mental health or just shit that's on my mind because it's a good excuse. Um, and for the next month, oh, it's a bit windy, hopefully you can still hear me. Um, for the next month, uh, on the website, every $10 you guys spend, I'll be donating a dollar to the Movember Foundation. So get on that. Um, yeah. Oh, and a shout out to uh, all the people that I met at Very Vintage Day Out. A shout out to the Barter Barber. Um, a shout out to the Beard and Mustache Competition. Uh, Tony, I can't remember your uh, photography company, but I will tag you in those awesome photos that you took of us because, man, they were fucking cool. Um, shout out to CT at, I can't remember your company name, but he makes awesome Bluetooth compatible uh, speaker briefcase, uh, speaker cases. Um, strangely normal. Uh, thank you so much for hooking me up with this. Uh, and Nigel at Hattitude, uh, thank you for the awesome conversation that we had about similar things like what we're discussing just now. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys all very soon once again. Um, I suppose for now, goodbye. Learn to take care of yourselves, fellas, because as guys, we can't help but find our worth in taking care of other people. But if you're not fine and up to scratch how are you supposed to take care of other people so uh take care of yourself so you can take care of those you care about and until next time i've been your friendly neighborhood mad arab and i'll catch you next time